Dear friends, I want to wish you a Shabbat Shalom on a special Shabbos. As this week we read the Torah portion of Bo, which talks about the exodus of the Jewish people from Egypt, begins with the last three plagues. And Moshe was constantly bargaining with Pharaoh. And what was he arguing for? So I don't know if you ever heard the story about this fellow comes to the rabbi and he says, you know, I've been reading the Torah portions in Exodus and it talks there all the time about B'nai Yisrael, the children of Israel. The children of Israel were this, the children of Israel were that, the children of Israel left Egypt. He says, all I'm reading about the whole time is the children of Israel. Where were the adults in the picture? A cute little joke. But it's not such a joke. Because Moshe, as he was constantly negotiating with Pharaoh, plague by plague, and Pharaoh was breaking down little by little, at some point, and we read about it this week's Torah portion, by the seventh plague, so Pharaoh says, okay, I'm ready to let you go. Who is going? So Moshe says, the adults and the children. So right away, Pharaoh says, no, 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 no. No children. The children have no reason to go. I'm not allowing the children to go. If you adults want to go and serve God, I understand, okay, the adults want to serve God. But you are not going to engage the children in this type of behavior. The children belong to me. The children belong to the culture of Egypt. Lavan, Jacob's father-in-law, said the exact same thing when he was chasing Jacob who had ran away from him and his environment. And he says, you have no right to take my children. What you want to do, and even my daughters, you're adults, too late. But children, we're going to shape the children, not you. And it boiled down to the children. When Pharaoh, at the end of the the 10th plague, the killing of the firstborn, ran after Moshe and Aaron to tell them, go out of Egypt, he says, You and all the children leave Egypt. Pharaoh relented and realized that the Jewish people have a very different way. We don't wait till someone's an adult and then say, you figure it out yourself and decide what you want to do and why you want to do it. But we engage the children from a young age to teach them our values, our morals, the truth, faith in God. The most powerful things that even as an adult, we have to take in faith, are passed on to children. And as we have so many children passing through our Chabados and many different programs, it's so beautiful when a parent comes with the child to me and tells me the, tr- the questions the child is asking, so pure and innocent about God and trying to find God. The children are our pure beings in this world. And they connect with morals, values, truths, much more than we think. And we, as parents, must give them the truth. Yes, we don't have to talk in a sophisticated way. They're not adults yet. They may not understand everything logically. But don't twist the truth. Don't falsify things and don't mislead them. Simplify it. The word God is fine to use with the child. And this is what it was all about between Moshe and Pharaoh. At the end of the day, Pharaoh was not just fighting a battle of enslaving the Jews physically. To Pharaoh was a project of taking an entire group of people who had one belief and changing their belief to the Egyptian way, which was morally corrupt and against God. So too, my dear friends, in our lives, the children have to be a part of it. The children have to be engaged. Bring them into Jewish activities. Bring your children to synagogue when you go. They may not be able to sit in their places. Most synagogues will have a program for them, but they'll feel comfortable and they'll connect with the idea that synagogue is an important part of our identity and so on and so forth. Include them. Everyone according to their age, but don't hold back from the truth.
and the beautiful things of Judaism. Because that is our strength. The foundation of our people are the children. And we see it every day in our mission here at Chabad. The most beautiful people to watch are our children. How they just swallow it, drink it up, and love it, and feel so good about it, and so connected, it's so natural. Let's learn from the children as we engage with them. So, God bless you. We love you all. Shabbat Shalom. Candlelighting time in Montreal, 4.35 p.m.